guys welcome back to my channel once again i still remain your favorite right thank you for joining me once again today if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you subscribe give me a big thumbs up drop your comments down below even if you don't have anything to say just say ma'am i love you i will appreciate that and also share my videos to your friends and also your family so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make or achieve a drum sleeve or pleated sleeve of off shoulder bust here so we are going to be attaching the drum sleeve or pleated sleeve here so and you also know that it's going to have a lot of pleating on it so the more pleating and standing you want it to be the more fabric it consumes so i'm going to fold here into two like so i'm going to fold then this folding is of two parts the left and right side so i'm going i'm not going to use here i'm going to trim there off so i'm going to measure i'll add my half inch here so i'm going to measure the length of the sleeve that i'll be working with length of the splitted sleeve will be six inches so six plus one will give us seven so I'm going to mark out seven inches. So I will be working with seven inches. And it's all the length that I want it to be. So the longness will be 17, 70 to 75. Plus one inch for stitching, which is uh, 76. So I'm measuring the length and with the longness. So so here is 60. Here is 60. So I'm going to add extra extra 15 inches to this. Oh my god, this thing is too long. So I'm going to add extra 16 inches to it. It's supposed to be 15, but I'm going to add 16. So extra 16 inches like so. Perfect. So this is the longness. I don't know what to call this. So I'm going to measure my seven and then fold it back. So here is my seven. You can make yours to be longer, whatever you want. So since I have gotten this, I'm going to just trim out the part that I want. So this is what I'll be working with. So. Since I'm working with this, I'm going to fold it into two. Once I fold it into two, make sure that everything is equal. I'm going to come down by two and a half inches, like so. So I'm going to go up by two and a half inches or so. So I'm going to go in by two and a half inches also. So here is two and a half. So this will be like something like this. So I will use here to serve for my So okay, here will serve as my sleeve, as in where I will attach my sleeves to. So here now, what I'm going to do here is the midpoint, right? I'm going to notch. 
So guys, I have to cut my lining into four because the length of this sleeve is uh, longer compared to the remaining lining that I have for this tutorial. So I'm going to cut my lining into four, two parts for one sleeve and the other for the for the other side. So since I have done my placement, I'm going to start cutting it out. to leave half an inch here for stitching so so this is for one I'm going to use the lining to cut out so I'm going to I'm going to use the lining to cut out the remaining parts of the sleeve So guys, I have finished cutting my lining and also my fabric. So if you touch this, you will notice that this is kind of super hard already. So my my sleeve was tanned. So I'm not going to add gum stay anymore to this. But it's kind of optional. If you want yours to stand very, very well, you can add your gum stay and, uh, you know, do your thing. But right now i'm not going to add gum stay to it i'm going to go to the sewing machine to stitch it and also show you guys how to pleat it so guys the next thing for me the next thing for me to start doing is to i'm going to stitch the lining so it will be because the lining is in four pieces so i'm going to stitch it to be two pieces each then i'm going to use the lining to turn the fabric before I will start pleating. So right now I'm joining the lining to the fabric. I will find the middle of the fabric so I will notch the mid points then I will find the other end and I'll also notch so this is the wrong side this is the right side so I'm going to open the right side and then use the facing the two row the two right sides together then use my pin my fabric pin to pin so I'm going to pin the midpoints together so like so so I'm going to start here okay. I'm going to start here to sew with one with half inch or 0 0.25 I'm going to start sewing with 0 0.25 So I'm turning it out. So I will use my seam ripper to bring out the edges. So this is how one side is looking but well, i'm going to trim here out eventually so i'm going to repeat the same thing on this side i'm also i'm going to repeat the same process by turning my right side of the fabric all over before the next method which is the main hook.
unnotch. This is how it will look like. So I'm going to repeat this process by flipping and turning on the other side of the sleeve. I'm going to mark out on my line. So before I mark out, I'm going to measure this thing to make sure it's exactly the length that my client wants. And uh, this is six and a half, so it's perfect for what I want to use it to do. The measurement that I'll be using for this mark out is uh, first I will start by one and a half. One and a half. See where I am marking. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't start here. I started at this edge. One and a half. Then I'm going to mark out half inch. Then I will mark out three inches. Then I will mark out half an inch. Then I will mark out three inches. So I will continue this to the end and repeat the other side. Then I will mark out half inch. Then I will mark out three inches. I will mark out half inch. Then I will mark out three inches. Remember that I minus one and a half, so I'm going to repeat that one and a half here. Then I'll add my half inch. Then I'll repeat the same process by adding three, also adding half, also adding my three. Then I'll add my half. I'll add my three. So basically, I'm repeating the same process that I did at the upper side, and also I'm going to repeat this process at this at the other sleeve. So I'm going to finish up the rest of camera again, show you guys when I'm done ironing. So I'm through ironing both the sleeves. So if you want to pleat your drum sleeve, don't use the wrong side. Use the right side to pleat so that the pleating will stand and it will show. What I'm doing now is I'm dividing the three inches that I marked out into two, which means I divided it 1.5 inch on both sides. After matching it up, I'm going to start stitching. I'm just showing you guys how it will look like. After stitching on that 3 inches, I will not touch that half inches that I marked out with it. Only on that 3 inches. So after matching it up, both at the upper and at the down side, make sure that they are equal. I am going to stitch it. I didn't touch the 1.5 inches that we marked out early. Only thing that I did was by dividing that first 3 inches by 2, then stitching on that 3 inches that I marked out, both on the upper and the down side. Make sure you secure your stitches by back stitching. So this is the first step. You can see how it's looking. Now, I will leave that half inch that followed the first three inches. And I now went to the second three inches. I'm dividing it by two again. Then after dividing it by two, matching up everything, I will now stitch on that three inches marked out. I am not touching the half inch. That half inch serves as a stand as a sleeve stand please when stitching don't touch the half inches the half inch make sure you secure your stitches by back stitching always make sure you do so otherwise your pleats will start losing so this is the second pleat making sure that my work is neat you can see how it's looking you can see the gap between the two three inches that's the half inch so i'm going to repeat the sample you can see the half inch you can see the half inch so i'm going to repeat the third step which means which is dividing another three inches by two and then stitching it again so i will repeat this process till i reach the very end of the sleeve so 
so guys so far so good this is what i have right now you can see that stuff the wrong side and the right side they are super neat and super beautiful so i'm going to repeat this this thing to the end of this material and after i'm going to repeat the same process that i did here on the other sleeve i'm going to repeat this to this side So guys, I'm done pleating the drum sleeve so you can see how cool it's looking and to tell you that the sleeve is super hard, not all that hard hard but it can stand on its own. If you want your own to be super hard and stand so stable that nothing, even the wind cannot shake it, you can add your gum stay or clothes gum to it so this is the outcome of the pleating i will measure the length of the sleeve to make sure it's up to eight so but what i have is more than eight which means i have more than enough then the next thing i will do is to after fixing it i will cut out the excess i don't make the mistake of cutting out the excess before fixing so I'm measuring now to, what I have here is eight so it's more than enough for me so I will trim out the excess including that uh, 2.5 that we attached to it earlier because of the off shoulder so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you get to attach is easy you can just attach it to your off shoulder you can also attach it to your normal sleeve if you know your way around manipulations so this is the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoy it i can't wait to see you guys in my next video like i said the next video will be more detailed and thank you all for your votes i appreciate so i'm going to be showing you guys everything including cutting sewing ironing and the rest do have a lovely day Mwah.